Okay, so this video is to show you how to do the PCA. So we go to the toolbox and you type in PCA. We're going to choose the forward PCA rotation and new statistics. So that's the because we're creating a new one. We're going to include the resize that we have created. Press OK. It asks us for the stats file, so always choose the stats file and create that. So this one is my um, PCA October 2020 stats. So open. I'm going to do covariance because it's the most stable with, um, with most of these images. And then I can press choose for the next button because I'm going to output my file. And then I can say PCA for 2020 is open. And then everything I'm going to keep the same. Now, generally speaking, we would use six PC bands. But this new version of MV sometimes doesn't like it when we reduce down the number. Um, so I'm going to run it with the six. And if it doesn't like that, then we leave it at the default at seven. It doesn't make a difference either way in the first three bands. But it's just um, a, an error that you might see. So here it is, after you press OK, it's going to do some processing and then it's going to output the values. So again, here's the warning. Um, it, again, like I said, you can just ignore it for now and then you'll get your PCA from there. And um, so we can see in here that we've got this value, the highest diagonal value down to like lower values. This is not your statistic file. Okay, so I know many students try giving me this as the statistic file, and it is wrong. That is not the statistic file. You have to actually open the statistics file. So if you go up to the toolbox and you type in um, statistics, you're going to see view statistics file down here. So you click on that, and we go into our transformation. Here's my stats file. This is your statistics file. Okay, so don't get the two confused. The one just shows you how much of the eigenvectors that ha have of each of the like the of the variance. This one has the statistics in it. So here we've got covariance, basic stats, correlation values. The most important things that we need is the eigenvectors and eigenvalues for these bands. So my suggestion is to copy those as is, and then go to this um, clip, copy to clipboard, and there, and this is clear selection. So you can just hit copy to clipboard and take it into Word or take it into Excel. But that is the statistics file. It is not that little graph that comes up first. That one it only tells me a little bit of information, not the whole thing. So that's the PCA. Uh, for greater description, make sure you check out the class file um, about each of them. But what it automatically does is it puts the PC principal component three, which is our residuals, as red. The maximum variance is band two, which is green. And then blue is going to be the maximum trend values. So that's how you do Landsat 8. Now, if I, I'm going to close this one. And I'm going to open up my Landsat 7 that I have. So that, that one I'm going to go with. Here's my Landsat 7. I'm going to bring in my MTL file. I'm going to just go through the whole process of this so at least you guys get a chance to see it. So this is 2001. Go out. I'm just going to set a small resize just to do a quick, quick calculation. It's not going to like me today. There we go. I'm 
I'm just going to set that there. It's okay. And then a quick resize name. Save, press OK. It'll create my little spot there. So that's how you do resize really fast. Go to that. And then in my toolbox, I'm going to run a PCA just so you can see how that goes. PCA new, new statistics. My demo always output my statistics. And then I can also output my PCA on set 7. So this one, you'll see that it has six bands. I don't want any more than that. There are only six bands anyways in the, the Landsat 7. So we can press OK, let it go through. And there we go. So there is my end result of the Landsat 7 PCA. So you'll see that there was no error compared to the Landsat 8. And it's just because when we do the change with the resizing with Landsat 8, it seems to lose the metadata in this software, which is a bug that they're going to be fixing. But the Landsat 7 doesn't lose it. So there you go. So that is, um, that's how you do the PCA with both, both Landsat 7 and Landsat 8. It's just remembering how many bands you're going to output and remembering how many um, that you're outputting the statistics file and you're outputting the output image file.